the first Mother's Day after losing your mom can be so tricky, especially if you're a mom yourself. I know all too well, and I remember how difficult it was the first Mother's Day after my mom passed away. I was so lost without her <laughs> and trying to raise my twin boys, one who had recently just been diagnosed with autism. It was only my second time celebrating Mother's Day myself, but it was the first one I was celebrating as a motherless daughter. Hi, if you are new here, my name is Joanne. I'm married and I have twin boys. Although a majority of my YouTube channel is cooking, today I wanted to share some ways to help cope and get through Mother's Day if you have recently lost your mom. This video is dedicated to my good friend, Grace. Mother-daughter relationships can be wonderful. They can be complicated, and in some cases, non-existent. But when your mom passes away, it is just super hard to feel like celebrating Mother's Day. My mom passed away in 2013. It's almost 10 years without her being able to celebrate Mother's Day with her. Even though I have two boys of my own and I love to celebrate being their mom, it is sometimes hard not to feel like something is missing. I would love to be celebrating this day with her as well, but over the years, I've learned that there's so many ways I could celebrate my mom and how much she meant to me. If you have recently lost your mom, I am so sorry for your loss. I know exactly how you feel and I understand that this time of the year is not always happy for everyone. One day at a time is my only advice right now. If you want to cry, cry. If you want to scream, scream. If you don't want to do anything, don't. This is your grief and you handle it the way you want to. I have spoken about my grief in a previous video I had uh, posted during the holidays, talking about walking through your grief during the holidays and I will link it below or up in the eye if you're interested in hearing more about that. But now I wanted to share some ways that you can get through your Mother's Day without your mom. The first year that my mom was not here during Mother's Day, was probably, of course, was absolute worst. <laughs> um, but I have learned that there are some things that I can do to help not take away the pain, but I guess be able to get through it a little bit easier. I have been uh, writing letters to my mom since she passed away. I was doing it on a daily basis. And now I just do it, I don't know, maybe occasional letter here and there. But I can honestly say that sitting down and writing a letter to your mother is kind of therapeutic in a very odd way, being able to share with her everything that has been going on or just things that you want to tell her that maybe you never had a chance to tell her. It's a great way to get your feelings out and really released some of that grief that you may be holding back on or building up. Another way to honor your mom during this time is to have a mass in your mom's name. My sister and I have been doing this since my mom passed away. We often do it for the holidays, uh, Christmas, uh, birthday, and Mother's Day. Um, it just brings us closer, I guess, to our mom and our faith. And, you know, even just simply 
something as simple as lighting a candle on Mother's Day um, really, you know, can help you connect to make a deeper way of being able to reflect on your mom and, you know, your relationship with her. You can also plant maybe her favorite flower in your garden. Um, my mother really loved roses. She loved gardenias. Um, although she would tell you that she could not take care of plants or flowers <laughs> at all. She didn't have a green thumb. She really did like flowers. So planting, you know, um, a little area in maybe your backyard or your front yard, something that she really enjoyed is a great way of honoring her. And every time those flowers bloom, you'll definitely be thinking of her. I get that sometimes looking through old pictures or videos can be a little, I don't know, maybe sentimental. Um, sometimes it's difficult to do that, and I understand that. But, you know, sometimes looking through those pictures of happier times or watching, you know, old vacation videos, old holiday videos, they really replace some of the you know, the harder memories. And sometimes it's just such a relief to look at those and know that you had better times, you had great memories. These are all things that you're going to take with you through your life. And, you know, taking time to look through them and remembering everything about your mom. You know, maybe there's something that she's wearing and our, you know, a piece of jewelry. I don't know, those things to me really are helpful. So I find myself looking at pictures and videos all the time. Another way that me and my sister um, kind of honor my mom is we had a memory stone um, placed in our backyards. Um, it's just, I don't know, uh, I think they're called memory stones, but it's just like a, um, a stone <laughs> and it has maybe butterflies or a cardinal and a little saying on there. And we just, you know, place it in an area that we can always see and just remind us that, you know, your mom is always with you. And uh, it's, you know, she's never going to be out of your mind completely. But these little ways help you deal with the sadness that you feel, especially in the first few years. Over the last few years, we've been making new traditions, uh, especially with my children. We've been doing balloon launches. And uh, basically, if we have a Mother's Day balloon, a birthday balloon, any kind of balloon, hearts, birthday, you know, just regular birthday balloons. We've been attaching notes to the balloons and we launch them from our yards. Our boys really enjoy doing this. Alex writes the sweetest notes to his grandmother and he gets quite emotional about it, I must say, but he really enjoys being able to send these little notes to her. And um, I do have some video. If I can find it, I'm going to try to insert it here. But it's a great way, you know, to have something new, a new way of celebrating Mother's Day. And I would highly recommend getting a few balloons and um, attaching notes. Everybody can take part in it. Attaching some notes to Grandma in Heaven. It's very hard when you lose your mom. Uh, if you're close to her, you know, that's the one person you want to run to when you have a problem or when you want to celebrate something, you know, and not having her there, especially during the holidays, especially Mother's Day, can be really difficult. 
I hope that you have found this video a little helpful and that maybe some of my ideas and suggestions of what I've been doing over the last um, almost 10 years now can uh, be something that you can incorporate into your own Mother's Day celebrations. And if you are a mom, don't forget to celebrate that. Your mom definitely would not want you to skip out on this one day where you are honored. So make your new traditions, celebrate with your children, your grandchildren, go out and enjoy this day. It is your day as well. Thank you so much for watching my friends. I want to wish you all a very happy and blessed Mother's Day. I hope that you enjoy your day. Take some time to celebrate you. Thank you for watching.